I'm going to set the torch up in a second and establish a neutral flame. And this is really important because uh, there are three real conditions uh, as far as a flame setting is concerned. Firstly, we can achieve a carburizing flame, in which case we burn excess amounts of carbon and that releases free carbon into the flame. Not necessarily a bad thing um, because for some hard facing materials it, it, it may have a slight effect. Uh, other than that, it's not really that bad at all. Uh, one condition that we're going to aim for and I would always try to advise is uh, a strictly neutral flame and that of course is when we burn equal amounts of acetylene with equal amounts of, uh, of oxygen and that keeps it then very, very neutral. One type of flame we want to avoid at all costs is an oxidizing flame. Obviously that is when we burn more oxygen than, uh, than acetylene. That then puts free oxygen into the flame and then we can oxidize the powder as we're uh, depositing it onto the base material. We can also oxidize the base material and that, that then can have damaging effects on the deposit that we produce at a later date. So we want to avoid oxidizing flames at all costs. I'll just show you how those work. Turn on the acetylene first. That now is a normal, perfectly uh, neutral flame. If I turn down the oxygen a little bit and we see the blue flame appear there, that's a carburizing flame. And if we just increase the, uh, decrease the oxygen a little bit until the flame, the feather disappears, we get a nice round cone. That's a perfectly neutral flame. Increase the oxygen and you can see the flame gets shorter and it becomes a little bit more harsh to listen to. That's an oxidizing flame. We want to avoid that at all costs. So we just turn down the oxygen a little bit more and pull it back to neutral. That's it, that's how to set that. 